Just a quick kind of unboxing look at this Blue Bridge. So I got the areas and I, uh, nothing else in the box. A USB fell at the bottom. It's a cool little angled little USB. Might come in handy for this device. It's got an open hole right there that looks like you insert a USB into. Uh, but I don't see where it goes on the other side. So maybe something like that. And then you feed the rest of this wire all the way around. But of course, I don't see where it goes on this side. So that's kind of like a mute point. I don't quite get it. But notice there's nothing else in the box. No directions. That's that's definitely uh, what you would expect from them. So this thing does come with instructions. This is the gyro itself. So I guess this will have to suffice for this thing. Good thing I had it close by. Uh, connection method. Uh, basic green gain level. And auto gain level mode. Gain directly determined by the magnitude of speed. You know. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I know I probably ever read that um yeah i don't want to bore you with too much of that reading you can read it yourself if you want to slow it down or pause the screen read the whole thing some people get upset if i read that whole thing out to you and they'll hit me up in the comments mad about it um so this piece here if you have to modify your gyro perimeters please download the flight assistant app um connection when the gyro is installed in the aircraft correctly uh, oh, and connect to a battery. Uh, put the power supply USB Type C, so that means power it up. Uh, so if you put a battery in your airplane, then okay, it's powered up. When removing the gyro, it is necessary to set it. Okay, whatever that is. Um, power supply through port B. So none of these ports are marked. I see a C right here. And there's a little button. Look like it might be a reset type button. I don't know what this hole is all about. Other than if that angled device is supposed to go in there. Maybe. Um, but it looks like rest assured. And that's weird. It's got like a hole in the top. Look at that. Such a weird piece of equipment. It's not a very deep hole. But it this channel leads all the way to it. Maybe I'll unwrap this and try to see what it goes, but either way, it doesn't make much sense. It's got a little light maybe in the front. Um, let me see if I can get the airplane fired up. So just a little, uh, got the plane on the stand. One cool thing about the Aries is that this little nose piece comes off pretty easy and you put it inside and now you can store it on the nose face, you know, nose down like you want to. And there's enough room for you to tuck these two uh, wing spars inside because I don't know how many times people forget like I forget to put these in all the time I, I just don't like taking apart aircraft to go fly so it's an aggravation for me as a whole but forgetting to put those in has happened to me a couple of times so with them being inside of here I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm going to need to put the battery in once I try to put a battery in I'm going to notice that I forgot to put those in especially with the push button snap on wings I'll never forget that I have the app turned on I can't turn it sideways I guess you know my cons my specific phone setup doesn't allow for that to happen i'm gonna plug the bird in the blue bridge is blinking green so uh the radio is on i got everything set so the bird should be able to be just fine um you click that um you gotta hit some tips allow while using the app all right looks like i'm there i see a gyro already popped up i'm gonna hit allow um yeah, so that's probably two things you can connect free wing devices. All right, so I'm at the front screen here. Uh, free wing assistant. It's got gyro. You can click on that. Let's see, gyro. Off normal. Uh, got servo. Okay, neutral. Yeah. You can do a few things with this, I guess. But um, connect free wing device. Searching for Bluetooth. The blue bridge is plugged in. Connect free wing device. Searching for Bluetooth. Um, all right, I see the free wing 39. Some 
All right, device is connected. So I'm gonna hit gyro and I see conventional, I see read send. All right, so it looks like this might be the insides of my gyro. And as you can see right here on this gyro mode switch setting, it has exactly what I want. It has off, normal, and auto level. However, when I switch my switch, I'm only getting green, green off and it never does auto level. So in this case, I'm gonna go and switch this to off and this to off and then maybe send, says success. All right, all right, now I got two gyros and one of them is still green and the other one is nothing, doesn't change color. All right, and I'm switching the switch. So now I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna flip the third position to auto level and then I'm gonna send. All right, oh, the gyro turned blue. All right, so middle position is off. So down position is blue where I want it. Middle position is off, top position is off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click these middle position and I'm gonna hit that to normal. All right. All right, I'm getting the blue position. Let me see, did I send? I didn't send, did I? All right, say success. So down is blue, middle is green and top is off. So now it works. So I don't know why it didn't work out the box because you could see as soon as I went in here, I didn't alter anything. It was already at these three settings, just like Wesley advertises, but it didn't work in fact. So now I'm seeing blue, I'm seeing green, and I'm seeing off. So that's all I need to do, but let's investigate what else is in here. And looks like that procedure of send, I don't know what save is about, let's click it enter the so yeah if you want to save this file you know to, to you know reference that later or something to save it to another device that makes sense um so read obviously that's probably just to read the device that you have let's see uh read success i, I don't yeah that's probably just this data that's on here send we already kind of investigated that what send is all right save and then save all right we already did that my files you can create a folder with those stuff that you saved uh, download, calibrate, and restore. So yeah, it seems like some good options there. Um, Delta Wing and conventional. We're going to leave it to conventional like we are with the Switch game where we went straight to. Gyro directions. None of this is wrong for me. So I'm going to leave it where it is. All right. Uh, gyro port. We're on in the USB-C port. And I think, oh yeah, this is for the gyro itself for the input port. So it has an extra one at the bottom, which could be B. We don't care about that. That's, it's already done for us and it works. All right, basic mode game settings. So this is something that's interesting because uh, Boost is having trouble with his, he doesn't feel like his gyro is uh, sensitive enough. And this will give him a, a chance to, even though it's on a slider, which to me, I'm in it, you know, read, read success at the bottom, you saw that. So I'm I'm changing the positions of my my, my knob on my Spectrum Radio to see if I can make these move and they don't move. So you, what you'd have to do is you'd have to slide them and then you could get more gains out of them. So they're at 50. I guess you're gonna have to come down, connect to the blue bay bridge, change it, disconnect from the blue bridge, change it, you know, until you get it where you want it. Um, so I'm gonna put those back where they kind of were. I'm not gonna load anything else, so it doesn't matter. Uh, auto level settings so you can change the pitch and roll neutral angle settings horizontal angle settings so um yeah you can change these if if you know you want to i know you don't want to change this horizontal angle settings but the neutral you might want to change those if something's not right about the way you're flying and then coach angle that's that other option that you could change it to i don't know what this does rolling pitch angle the aircraft will be limited and will not exceed the set value okay this sounds like this is something more to like safe mode at which point you can go all the way to 90 and this matches that so this goes to 90 neutral angle settings oh it goes to 250 so uh, i don't know what that exactly means so i'm gonna put it back at 70. i might have to research but this is not what this video is about just showing you how to get into this thing and if you want to get your blue mode working which i did oh i don't know where that was it was probably at zero but i didn't mean to slide this i don't even know what it is i'm gonna probably read it once i get it centered i'll read it and see what it says Kind of hard to get things centered too because you don't have like a little click box oh you could center it this way too there we go all right 
So horizontal angle settings, um, yeah, in coach mode, you can change the two neutral and horizontal and kind of fine tune that to the way you want to fly. I think this might be good for me because this is like an equivalent of safe mode. I might have to uh, read into it a little bit and try it out and then give you guys the feedback on it. But that's not what this video is about. I was just showing you the other stuff you had. This video is about this gyro mode switch off normal and auto level. Right now, I have my switch position all the way down. I'm in blue. Switch it one to the middle, green, and then off. So the same thing I have set up through Spectrum, and I kind of like that. I guess I'll give it a try. Um, maybe fly this aircraft once or twice. I'm gonna take the nose. I'm gonna take the the uh, vector off the tail, like I have it now, and I'm gonna put the ailerons on a Y, which should be fine, which give me an extra channel. And then I don't know. Go from there. I just gotta figure out what what channels I need or whatever to make this work. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably try to give it another flight or so just to see how it flies for people who just want it to learn, you know, to fly it, you know, that'd be good for them. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the whole blue bridge. So that's all the explanation of it. Um, device is connected. Let's see if I disconnect this. And, and you know what? The blue bridge light flashes green until you connect it. Once you connect it, it stays green. So that like lets you know that you have a positive connection. All right. I saved everything. I'm going to unplug the blue bridge. Um, and it still says the device is connected. Uh, I'm going to try my bird now that it's disconnected. It does still work on blue and green and off. All right. So connect device. Yeah. So yeah, it, it registered that I took it out. Everything is good. So that's pretty much all I need to show y'all on the blue bridge. I'm going to conclude this video with that. It did get my device working. Let me, I know you can't see what I'm doing other than that blank screen, but I'm going to just disconnect and then I'm going to reconnect and make sure that once the bird initiates and everything is good because it's flashing green right now the device is flashing green which is the only uh setting i had and it once the bird booted up it turned blue and then i can switch to the device to green and then off all right and then noting that my other device only does green uh because there's two devices in the areas so it only does green green and off so right now when i go from that position to uh from the down position which is blue that one is still green for the vector and then the next one can be uh both are green and then both are off so you could kind of do a fine tuning there where you do the vector have one setting and the regular gyro for the bird has one setting also so you know just more stuff to think about lots of stuff to play with um, that's all I want to cover there. So I'm going to tap on the screen to say goodbye and pull you out. All right, I decided to do a little more investigation. So if you look at the two gyros, you can see my switch is in the down position where I choose to have my safe mode equivalent. Um, and right now I didn't do the, the vector. I just did the regular one for the bird. So you notice that one's flashing green. I put it into that coach mode. So then if I go center, then both of them turn to green, which is just straight AS3X equivalent. And then all the way up is off, right? So I got my three positions. That's what I was after. And you can customize these two the way you want. But one thing I wanted to show you guys, um, that green, the only thing changes is it's not blue. If, you know, like the regular auto level mode of theirs is blue, and then this turns green and it just flashes now, and it flashes for the whole time. But I noticed something weird. So, like that aileron, you know, it works, right? But look how this one works. You see that? So, I guess because maybe the way I got things set up. You see how slow the elevators are going? So, it's a little bit slower than the normal deal. Whereas this aileron, I guess because I got it set to two ailerons, two flaps. The second aileron doesn't get the same, uh, it doesn't get the same input as this side, but see how slow it's going? I'm sure that'll affect flight, so I'm not going to leave it there. I just wanted to show y'all, but uh, I'm going to connect back up to it now and put it where both of them turn blue. And, oh, I didn't want to hit the landing gear. Did that by mistake, but, uh, yeah, so off, green, and then they'll be both blue. That's it. It's an extra little addition.